Hey CEO, happy April. Spring is finally in the air and it's time to declutter. But as CEOs, as Christ empowered operators of a with God life and business, we're not just about decluttering our stuff. Well, there is value to that. We're about decluttering our should do's, right? Have you heard some of those should do voices? You should do this. You should build that. You should be there. You should, you know, be over where, and then you start getting overwhelmed by all the things that are on your list. But as a CEO, as someone who is building a with God life and business, what is it that God says you should do? That's what we're focusing on next week inside of our workshop series that's happening April 9th through 11. We'll be live at 12 p.m. Central each day. Um, and I'm inviting you to be on live and make that block off that time right now so that you can join us because that's how you will not only be more focused and get the most out of it, but also be able to get your questions answered in real time. But I know sometimes things come up and maybe you can't be there all three days live. That's okay. There will be replay access that I will send out afterwards. So no worries. We will still make sure that you get, um, take advantage of everything that's happening. So on day one, we're going to look at our beliefs. What is it that you are believing as a CEO? Because we could jump into the doing, but if we're not believing the right things, then we're not going to be very clear on what it is we should be doing. Then on day two, we're going to look at what are you doing and what are you not doing? Uh, permission to let go of some should do's that you've been told or thought needed to be on your list. And then day three is going to be when are you working and when are you not working? Because yes, as a CEO, you are probably wearing all the hats in your business at this point, but that does not mean that you should be working all of the time. In fact, that is not the best use of time if you want to see growth in your life and business. So I hope that you'll join us for those three days. We'll also be doing a bonus open house on Friday at 12 o'clock the same time and talk about why is the way that we focus on this different from what the world is telling you because the world tells you you just need to get more organized and yet we've all tried that and it doesn't work, right? And then on Saturday morning, I'm going to be offering a bonus Q&A where you can bring your questions and I will help you with how you are implementing. So there's going to be a lot of great stuff going on next week. Speaking of bonuses, there are a couple of bonuses that you get access to right now. So I want to make sure that you're getting that. So the first one is you get access to the CEO Foundational Decisions Guide, the three key decisions that you need to make as a CEO before you build your business any further, no matter how long you've been in business. And here are the three questions. Why me? Why her? And why this? And I'm going to walk you through in this guide with a coaching video on exactly how to get really crystal clear on these things before you do anything. The second bonus you get is you get a CEO time audit with me. That's a 15 minute call where we're going to look at where your time is going and how you can start investing it in what matters most to see growth in your life and business. And then of course, I hope that you uh, have already joined us inside the Redeem Her Time community. That's where we're gonna be having a lot of conversation back and forth throughout the week. And you'll find new other resources inside there as well that are gonna help you on this journey. And that's where you get access to me as your personal coach for the week. So make sure that you have joined that as well. And I will make sure links to all of that are below this video. Last but not least, it is not too late to invite a friend because friends don't keep good things to themselves, right? So right now, I want you to stop. I want you to think about a business bestie or a few who might also want to go from that random busyness that you've been experiencing as well to faithful fruitfulness in their life and business. Who is it that would benefit from something like this? I'm going to drop a link below here as well. All you have to do is fill out that form and I will reach out to them individually on your behalf and make sure they get access to the bonuses. Um, so that way they can experience all that this workshop series is going to hold. And girl, let me just tell you, when you don't feel like you have enough time, the most important thing you can do is pause from doing and focus on what you're believing, what you're going to do or not do, and when you're going to do it or not do it. So I'm excited about how this is not only going to change your life and business, but also how it's going to change your heart because that's where it all starts. And that's what makes this different from what you're hearing out there in the world that just tells you to get more organized. So lots more coming your way a week from now, but wanted to make sure that you were uh, marking off the time in your calendar, accessing the bonuses, and, uh, and starting to prayerfully ask the Lord what it is that he wants to show you um, about your should-do list right now. So 
If there's anything else I can do to help you as we're getting ready, pop into the community or reply back to um, where you see this video. And I would love to have some more conversation around what you're called to as a CEO, a Christ empowered operator of your with God life and business and how you can redeem your time to see more fruitfulness and less busyness. Doesn't that sound good? So we're going to do some decluttering next week in order to do that. And I can't wait to grow with you. So look forward to seeing you soon.